Good evening, everyone. Thank you guys for coming out. Okay. Um, today, I would like to call to order the regular meeting of the Board of Trustees at Village Hall. Today is July 5th of 2022, and the time is 6.32 p.m. Clerk, can you please call the roll? Sure. Good evening, everyone. Trustee Brown? Present. Trustee House? He's running late. Trustee Norwood? Present. Trustee Steve? Present. Trustee Holmes? Present. Trustee Belcher. Here. We have a quorum. All right. Thank you. If you all will stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. If we could we have um, is a pastor. Do we have a pastor in the building? Okay. We can have you lead us in prayer, please. Yeah, come on. Come on up. If everyone would stand for prayer, please. Go right here. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you with praises and thanksgiving, Lord. Father God, right now, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you have your way in this meeting right now, Lord. Guide every, everyone right now, Lord. Guide the officials, Lord Jesus. Guide everyone right now, Lord, in the unity of peace right now. And Father God, we thank you in advance of what you're doing, and we give you glory and praise and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. Amen. And excuse me, what was your name? Okay. Thank you. Next, we have general announcements. Are there any general announcements? Yes, yes. All right. Go ahead. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, I would like to announce that uh, the Tea with the Trustees is coming up this Saturday at 930 at the Lester Long Fieldhouse. If you want to come talk to the trustees, get input from the trustees, it's at 930 this Saturday. Uh, as we all know, we had a contested election. And I want to thank all of the residents who came out and supported and uh, who participated in the democratic process and the people have spoken. Um, and that's it. That's it for my announcements. Thank you. All right. Any more general announcements? Yes, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Trustee. All right. Go ahead, Trustee uh, Norbert. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would just like to announce that um, our Dalton Youth Empowerment Program uh, is set to start this Saturday, July 9th, uh, is open enrollment. It will be at noon uh, at Dalton Park Main's Fieldhouse. The Youth Empowerment Program includes uh, mentoring, uh, job and referrals, social skills, and work ethics for the children, uh, men and women from the ages of 7 to 24. Um, if anyone has any questions or has any um, children in their home and they're interested, uh, feel free to contact me at 708-968-4297 or uh, feel free to email me at bnorwood at vodalton.org. Um, and we're also having a Dalton Sports Day where all the uh, youth in Dalton can come out and have one big athletic day. Um, we're going to have an award ceremony at the end where we thank everyone for joining us. But um, I look forward to having a great day uh, with the youth. So if anyone has any children between the ages of 7 to 18 years of age, uh, feel free to contact me. We are looking uh, for Dalton residents who come and join us on our Dalton Sports Day. Um, I think that's all for me, Mayor. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any other trustees? Yeah, that'd be recognized, Mayor. Okay, Trustee Holmes. 
uh, just to the residents, uh, this Friday outside uh, the parking lot here in Village Hall, anyone needs safety locks for their weapon, um, we, I will start distributing them out also with hand sanitizers from 11 o'clock until 1 o'clock. 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. That'll be this Friday. All right. Does that include your report, trustee? Yes. Yes. All right. Anybody else? Thank you. All right, uh, moving on. The next is Village Clerk's Report. Good evening again. Um, I am requesting approval of the board for the minutes for regular board meeting on June the 6th, 2020. That is the only board meeting we had in June. All right. Can I have a motion to approve the regular board meeting of June 6th of 2022? So moved. Second. Is there a second? Second. It's been a motion and a second. Please call the roll. Trustee Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Aye. I'm sorry, let me just log this time. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Steve. Aye. Trustee Holmes. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion approved. Thank you, everyone. All right. I do have communication. Do you have communication? Yes. I do have okay. something. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. In regards to communications, I'm asking the board's approval for the Dalton Bears tag date. And the dates are Friday, July 29th, Saturday, July 30th, and Sunday, July 31st. I motion to approve tag days. That's read. Right. Second. Is right. there a motion and a second? Please call yes. the roll. Yep. Trustee Brown? Aye. Trustee House? Aye. Trustee Norwood? Aye. Trustee Steve? Aye. Trustee Holmes? Aye. Trustee Belcher? Aye. Motion passed. Thank you very, very much. All right. Thank you. Uh, next, we have Village Administrator Report. You have the floor. Hello. Okay. Here we go. Mayor, my report will include the uh, engineer's report as well. So I'll start with that. Um, so the CDBG uh, CDBG Street resurfacing project. Um, all street paving was completed on Friday, July 1st. Landscaping will start next week, followed by uh, thermoplastic paving markings. Um, village uh, sidewalk, uh, village-wide sidewalk replacement, uh, bids are open and received on Tuesday, June 21st. Sidewalk replacement project, um, the bids are currently being reviewed by IDOT right now. Um, the alley resurfacing project, the local 150 strike that has impacted the Chicago land uh, construction industry at this time, we do not know uh, when the strike will be resolved or the extent or the impact on the completion of the work. Uh, although these impacts are outside the contractor's control, please be assured that the contractor will continue to work with the village to complete unaffected work as available uh, during this disruption. Um, basically, um, there's a strike and we don't know when we're going to start or complete the alley projects, but we'll keep you updated. Um, other than that, um, I would encourage the village board to complete the budget as soon as possible. We have outstanding ARPA funds, as well as uh, funds from the federal government, uh, as well as the state. Uh, it's about $7 million that they're withholding right now uh, because we haven't passed the budget. The budget has to be submitted um, and uploaded to SAM.gov. Um, so I would encourage you guys to work on that as soon as possible um, so we can get that completed so the community can receive their funds. That's all I have, Mayor. All right, thank you. Next, we have committee reports. Uh, first is police, Trustee Holmes. Good evening, residents. Uh, first, um, just to make you aware, there have been a, um, there haven't been many uh, carjackings out here, but there have been cars that have been dropped off out here uh, when they're carjacking from the city and other surrounding areas. So there is a task force that is working the village of Dalton simply because the cars are being dropped off out here in different locations. So some of these cars have GPS on them and been tracked right here in Dalton. 
So they are uh, stealing them, carjacking them from somewhere else and dropping them off out here. Also, those of um, you that stay on Atlantic, uh, that's gave me a call about the lights out. So uh, we'll be taking a look at that with those lights out on Atlantic. And also keep your eyes open because the uh, converter step is still going. Thank you. That's the end of my report. All right. Thank you. Next is Melly Finney's Trustee Brown. Good evening, residents. I have no updated information to report about the fitness center. Thank you. Next, we have Public Works, uh, Trustee Steve. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, keep um, out for Public Works Committee coming up this month. Uh, I encourage residents to sign up for the Dalton Trustees email blast. Look at our YouTube page, our Facebook page. Uh, also, also, it will be the next meeting will be in conjunction with the Public Works and the Water Department because there's a lot of complaints and stuff like that coming out of the Water Department. So we want to at least address that. And that's it for my report. Thank you. All right. Next, we have Fire Trustee Belcher. Good evening, everyone. Um, from the Fire Department, I just like to report that the uh, Emergency Management uh, Assistance has hired 15 people. So the gentleman and I think it's a lady that you see with the Homeland Security, um, they have been hired to assist with the fire, police, and public works to have extra bodies on the street since our last meeting. So I just wanted to update the residents. Thank you. That's it. Next, we have youth, a trustee, you know what? Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, as I iterated before, we have the uh, youth empowerment program uh, that will have open enrollment for this Saturday at noon at uh, Dalton Fieldhouse. So anyone, please contact me if you have any children at home who's interested in joining the program. Um, it goes over mentorship and we have job referrals, uh, financial literacy, entrepreneur workshops and all those cool things and in regards to the housing committee uh, we'll have a youth committee meeting next week and um, so look out for that i'll provide more details and then we'll have a housing committee meeting at the end of this month where i have some updates regarding housing that will be all for my report mayor thank you next is finance trustee house thank you mayor um for the finance committee, we did have a finance committee meeting to review the budget um, on the second week of June, and we will be progressing with the with the, uh, making sure that the budget is completed uh, within the next two to three weeks. We have um, this does, of course, have to be done by the end of, by July to make sure that we receive the funding. So uh, that will progress and move forward. I think the finance committee meeting was um, was a very we had a good spirited yet civil discussion about some of the things that are in so very informative for those who were not able to attend or view it please go online for the Dalton trustees uh, Facebook page and, the, and or YouTube page and then that information can be shared as well uh, we will make sure that that moves forward so there will be a special meeting coming up within the next two or three weeks and it will be announced by next next week Monday that concludes my report mayor thank you right, next is department reports uh, police chief Collins Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, Madam Clerk, trustees, fellow department heads, and most importantly, residents. The police department has added four additional experienced police officers to our roster. Three are currently assigned to the field training program and are expected to be released from training sometime mid-September to October. The hiring process is still underway. Of the test that we did, of the 13 candidates that took the entrance examination, Seven have passed and they've moved on to the next phase of the hiring. Uh, there's a couple questions I've been asked uh, to address. Uh, one, specifically, board meeting security measures. Since the in-person board meetings have begun, police officers have been using metal detectors on those that wish to enter the meetings. These measures are not intended to offend you in any way. These measures are merely for your safety and the safety of those around you. If you feel offended, please accept our apologies, but also consider the alternative based upon today's current trends. We no longer question why we cannot enter a sports arena, a court building, or an airport terminal without passing through some sort of security checkpoint. This is just that ounce of prevention. Police officer presence in the meetings. I have required police officers to be present in the board meetings due to occasional disruptions. This is just a friendly reminder that it is a violation of Village Ordinance 5-8-11A to obstruct, impede, interfere, or hamper a public meeting or an open air meeting. Police officers are present to keep the peace and are authorized to remove unruly persons from the meetings and issue citations. If an officer asks you to leave, please do not resist them. 
They are only performing the duties that they are ordered to do, to do so. It is a violation of Illinois state law to resist or obstruct a police officer in the performance of his or her duties. That's the end of my report. All right. Thank you. Next, we have Fire Chief McCain. Thank you, Mayor. We good now? All right, we're good now. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, Mayor, Madam Clerk, trustees, department heads, and most importantly, the residents of our community here in Dalton. Uh, first and foremost, Mayor, I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve the residents here because the residents and our stakeholders are the most important attributes to our village, and we want to provide good government service, and I thank you for that opportunity to serve our residents. So first and foremost, uh, our call stats, January 1st through current date, we responded to 2,730 incidents, uh, 963 of which have been fire and motor vehicle accidents, and 1,767 have been emergency medical service responses. Uh, in addition, over the last month, we've had uh, several structure fires in our community, as well as a water rescue incident and a plethora of vehicle accidents. So as the weather turns, the activity turns up as well for emergency responses. So just let you guys know, our firemen are ready, and we're responding on a daily basis to 15 to 20 calls a day, and we're out to serve the public. In addition to that, we are continuing with our uh, consolidated alliance with training with, our multi with the area departments. We were out there last week. Um, temperatures 90 plus degrees and we're out there doing live fire training to meet our training objectives for IDAL OSHA compliance. Uh, station two, uh, a lot of questions on that. It's still being remodeled. I met with Scott Gilmore today and it's still an ongoing process. So far, the outside lights have been fixed uh, under the soffits, so it's being lit up now and then we're in the process of throwing out any debris from inside the building because it's been let vacant for nearly two years and we're moving forward to get it open very, very soon and the next step is fixing up the living quarters to meet the OSHA idle standards. Can we make sure it's safe for our firefighters living in that facility? Uh, other than that, I'd like to introduce uh, EMA as the Deputy Director John Howard, who's down there to my left. Uh, please keep uh, Director Don Rush in your prayers. He's been out sick, and we wish him for a speedy recovery. Uh, John, if you could give a 30-second dissertation with EMA ESDA. Thank you. Okay. Hello? All right. That's better. My name is John Howard IV. I'm the uh, Deputy Director of the Homeland Security and Emergency Management Agency. We're here to support the Police Department, Fire, and the Public Works Department. Our training for the new employees that were mentioned will be over 1,500 hours of training in different areas. Uh, we will have some uh, pilots or drone pilots that will be joining our team, as well as uh, a lot of other things. So thank you, uh, trustees, mayor. Uh, thank everyone for giving me the time to uh, say something today. So looking forward to working with uh, everyone. Thank you. Um, next, we have Public Works, uh, Stacy Corral. Good evening, everyone. Dalton Public Works Productivity Report for June 2022. Public Works has completed three B-Box repairs, two emergency shutoffs, two water main break repairs, 20 street lights repaired, two collapsed sewers have been repaired, 10 restoration jobs where water main breaks occurred over the winter, 16 trees cut down, 50 street signs replaced, 13 stop signs installed, and 86 vacant houses cut and cleaned. Public Works mechanics have completed three jobs to the fire department, four jobs to the housing department, two jobs to the police department, and 21 jobs to the Public Works department vehicles. Uh, special projects, water main project, water main repair project at 154th in Dorchester was completed during the month of uh, June 13th through the 17th, and also the restoration was completed at that time. Spring announcements. The recycling bin is now located outside of the gate of Public Works 24 hours a day uh, for access to recycling paper, plastic, glass, and other aluminum items. Street sweeping signs are being posted throughout the community. Please be on the lookout to know when your car uh, should be moved to the other side of the street. And as a reminder, Homewood is, who's, is picking up your brown bags. If you have any questions or concerns about the brown bags, you can call Homewood Direct. Their number is 708 
798-1004. Mayor, that completes my report. All right. Thank you. Next, we have um, housing, building permits, William Moore. Okay. Good, e good evening, everyone. Um, I am doing the housing report um, that was submitted by Supervisor Darion West. As is sales and sale inspections were 79 transactions for a total of $25,852.50. Quick claims, um, 11 transactions at $1,150. Judicial deeds, um, one transaction at $150. Judicial sales was two transactions at $450. Tax deeds, $900, which was six transactions. Trust deeds, $625 for three transactions. Rental licenses, $3,540 for 28 transactions. Inspection fees, $2,425 for 21 transactions. That concludes the housing report. I will also present the building department report um, from Deja Kent. Building permits, 104, this, I'm sorry, this is for, for this meeting from the previous meeting, um, one month term. Building permits, 145 for a total of $60,712.21. Plumbing permits was a total of 52, that equaled out to $12,052.43. Electrical permits, 32 for $4,512.80. Homeowner permits, total of 53 for $7,750. Um, there was a total of 147 building inspections for a total of $23,175. Contractors license fees paid to date, I'm sorry, for that month was one was 129 for a total of $44,500. Business license fees total for the month was $49,078.56. That concludes uh, Mrs. Kent's report. The next report will be the will be the code enforcement report, um, which was a total of 94 tickets written, broken down from grass, weeds, debris accumulation, vacant property permits and licensing, property maintenance and safety, branch and bush accumulation, warnings that were given out, as well as rental and sale inspection infractions, and other which tends to be anything without any other type of property maintenance therefore and a total number of uh, paid tickets totaling nineteen thousand one hundred seventy one dollars and twenty five cent and that concludes all three of those department reports all right thank you next on the agenda we have corporate bills uh trustee house thanks again mayor we uh have two a uh, warrantless one, which is standard. There's one which is the corporate bills that come out come out and are written off as che written as physical checks, and then we have the electronic warrant list. So I'll read both of them collectively. Uh, the first warrant list being payments, corporate register payments of nine hundred ninety-five thousand two hundred sixty-five dollars and forty-eight cents. Manual checks fifteen thousand nine hundred forty dollars and eighty-seven cents. Gross payroll June 3rd, $401,832.34. Gross payroll June 17th, $393,923.93. A manual payroll check, $926.64. Melanie Fitness Center register payments of $7,694.60. Gross payroll June 3rd at Melanie Fitness, $428.05. Gross payroll June 17th, $428.05. Total corporate payments on this register, $1,816,439.96. The electronic warrants payment list has corporate payments of $204,699.52. Waterfront payments, $275,276.60. Sewer fund payments, $1,066.13. Melanie Fitness Center payments $162.86 and Homewood Disposal Bonds payment $25,000. Total payments on this register $506,205.11. I motion that we approve both warrant lists collectively with the following amendments. Uh, we would, uh, I have a motion to have a removal of the following vendors uh, discount fence, affordable party planner. Jamie, Jamie Aponte, paint on me, and all the manual checks listed on the warrant list. So I ask for a motion with the following uh, edits. All right, is there a second? Second. Any discussion? 
Um, we'll have some discussion. What's the reason for pulling um, those people out? Uh, those individuals did not follow the process of getting the proper approval from the board of trustees prior to the checks being issued or written. And one being the affordable party planner, and what was the others that you want to pull out? It was discount fence, affordable party planner, Jamie Aponte, paint on me, and the manual checks listed on the flash page of the warrant list. Okay. Um, they did follow the proper channels to get approval, and this is stuff for a community. We just had a July 4th event, and I will advise the board to please approve their funds because we do have the money to um, pay for this. So can you guys amend your motion to pay for those items? Because we did just have a community event. Um, what was that? Saturday. Saturday, 4th of July event. Are you willing to amend your uh, motion? No. Um, I'm, I'm in a disagreement with your assessment, uh, so my, my motion remains the same. Okay. Well, just for the record, so the community understand what's going on. The board do not want to pay for an event we just had, which was the fireworks show, which was this Saturday. This Saturday, we put it on at Thornridge High School. We do have the funds, and the vendors will get paid because, mm -hmm. number one, I did go and advocate for money for vendors to get paid. We did get donations from several different vendors. So if they don't want to pay here, we, we will pay with the vendor's money, which we do have in the bank account at the Village of Dalton. I, I got a question. Excuse me. <clears throat> go ahead. Um, <clears throat> vendors performing services. We did. We had an MS walk. We had a caterer, a photographer, and these they, they are not being paid. The DJ, who is a uh, Dalton resident, none of this stuff is on the warrant list. When will that be paid? Since they so already submitted their invoices and did the work, it's not on. It's, it hasn't been on the warrant list for the last, I think, two months. Is that ever going to be paid? So, if it's something that has not been on the warrant list, or you saying did not get paid, I tell y'all the same thing when we come to every single board meeting. You guys have my phone number. We can get anything adjusted, fixed before we get here. We get here, we got put on the show. So I know nothing about what you're speaking of. So if it's something that I need to address, trustee, you could call me. We could have fixed it or, or got it resolved before the board meeting. What I'm talking about right now is vendors that's on this one list to get paid, that should get paid, that I did advocate funds for that is um, in the village's bank account, that vendors actually donated to this event. So for you guys to pull it out is selfish. I don't think y'all look at the residents first. I think y'all think about self first. And um, I'm telling y'all again, we have the money, and it's not the people's money, it's the vendor's money. So why would you guys not pay it if it's not coming out of their pockets, the residents' pockets? It's coming out of donations, vendors, people that donate to us. Do we have any receipts of the donations? And yes, how we well, how much was the donations the total? It can cover what we have. Do we have the total of our donations? It could cover what I have. Well, you just stated, Mayor, that it's a community event. It is. Uh, what trustee so many different amounts. What trustee Steve just so, spoke on too was a community event that has not been paid for several months. And directed by um, Janice Johnson, she was instructed to not pay anything that the trustees' vendors put on the warrant list. And then I find it hard to say that you sit here and say this and you was on. Facebook and everywhere else giving out five thousand dollar checks to businesses that don't even reflect on the real list. So if we want to start talking about the accuracy of the real list, we should start with everything. Okay. So let's get that cleared up. So let's get that cleared up, trustee. Because you're gonna be in trouble for defamation in the character. I mean, so let's get that clear. Let's get the facts as it relates to the money here at the village of Dalton. As it relates to opera funds, you guys know about it. Y'all can see it through viewpoint. It's five thousand dollars through opera funds, which is grant money that I can give to the business district. So stop playing with the business district that y'all did not want to give a dime to. They booted and rooted in the community. They been here during COVID, and we should always look out for the business community as well as the residents. Residents. <laughs> 
as it relates to what's going on here, because you guys deflect a lot. That's the issue. And resident, I'm trying to bring you back to the facts. The facts is we're talking about this one list right here. On this one list is people that has done services for the village of Dalton on Saturday. We need to and we should pay them. The problem with coming to our community in Dalton is the trustees do not want to pay people because they're not their friends. But they did a services for the community. So pay them. And if I, meaning the mayor, went out and advocated for funds from the business community who donated to make sure that the kids can have a bouncy house, the kids can get their face painted, I made sure that they got taken care of, why not pay it? I'm doing a respectable thing by putting it on the warrant list to make sure it get paid. So what I'm asking you guys to do is stop holding up progress and pay the vendors when they do the work. The problem a lot of vendors have when they come to the Village of Dalton is a lot of times you guys don't want to pay people when they do a service. So they're skeptical of either coming to help us. And as it relates to anything that you're speaking of that's past tense, I keep telling y'all, call my phone. Y'all don't call me. Y'all don't ask for anything. Y'all don't even communicate with me. But when we get here, you grandstand as though you do, and you don't. Because whatever the issue is that you're seeing, having got resolved, could have got resolved before we got here. But now when we talk about the kids, I got a problem with y'all not approving this warrant list for the kids. So. Y'all going to stand on not paying them. They will get paid. I'm telling y'all residents out of my mouth. It's funds that I did advocate for. The funds is in our bank account because I told them to make the funds um, payable to the village of Dalton, and they did that. Any other discussion? Yes, yes. I just Go ahead. wish we can see them funds. And also, um, um, the, um, if if we put in things, I, I, I communicate with the village administrator. Sent the email. I said, "Could you pay this? Could you pay this?" I did everything I asked for the vendors who did the MS well, and it's still not paid. So, hopefully, next meeting, it'll be on the word list. Now it's known public that they haven't been paid. Hopefully, next meeting will be on the word list, and they can get paid the vendors that worked. Thank you. Well, hopefully, by next meeting, you will communicate with your mayor, and you will get some understanding of whatever your issue is, and it will get resolved before we get to the next meeting. So we're not doing this pony show. I will hope that you will contact me and I can resolve whatever the issue is, trustee. And also, for the record, as long as it's not political, it can get paid. But anything y'all have that's trustees, um, tea with the trustees that's political will not get paid with the taxpayer dollars. Why would so with you the guys trustees be political? You, you guys said political things. The, the you guys, hold on. Y'all out of order. Hold on. You guys had things at T with the trustees that was political and you are submitting um, bills for that, we will not be paying that at the village. The taxpayers will not pay for that. You guys pay out of your pocket or go find someone to sponsor <laughs> that item. So I'm just letting you know. Oh, so I right. got a question. Go ahead. The MS walk <laughs> wasn't political. And from my understanding, it was a food giveaway at Melanie Fitness. And there was a bunch of stuff about passed out political. We seen it on Facebook. That's political. The MS walk wasn't political. The DJ for the MS walk wasn't political. That was a community event that you were at. They should get paid. That's all I'm saying. We're not talking about your MS walk. <laughs> I just said T with the trustees. See how you deflect and straight or something else? I said exactly what I meant, which is T with the trustees. Said nothing about your MS walk. So as long as we can get that resolved, it's okay. All right. Any more discussion? All right. Do you guys want to amend this or you want to leave it the way it is? Trustees. I um, have one thing to amend. The discount fence, um, I vote to amend that only. Okay. So you just want to put the discount fence back in um, pan? Correct. Okay. But you don't want to do paint on me or the party plan? Mayor, when you follow the proper channels, that means that everything's supposed to come before the vote for a vote. You don't vote on it after it's been paid. You had the event already. The proper procedure is to come before the event to get it approved, and then you go from there. Okay, you, you the got you got to talk to your board, procedure man. Procedure here. Okay, so you asking us to pay some that you're going to pay anyway. So why are we even talking about it? The proper procedure is to make sure it's on the warrant list, which it is. And I'm telling you that I have raised money for the items that I am paying for for the kids. So I don't understand what is the hassle of you guys saying no to something that is not coming out of taxpayers' uh, pockets. That's my issue. The magic word is receipts. If we, we have the receipts. receipts. You have it. Then let's pay yeah. it. It's in well, front of show you. Show the receipts. 
I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. It's going to get taken care of. I did raise the money for this, but I'm just saying we fighting over something for kids. That don't make sense to me. It's an event for yeah. for the youth. Y'all say y'all for the youth, but then yeah. yet y'all get up here and then you don't want to pay people yes. that put on a show for the youth. I don't understand what's the argument in that. But yet all your friends, all y'all stuff that you want me to pay, you want me to pay it, right? But you don't want to pay some for kids? Come on, man. Residents, pay attention. It's it's Okay, um, trustee, you don't even have the floor. Thank and you. May I be recognized? I'm not done. Huh? I'm not done. Okay, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. So, moving forward, if anybody have an issue with a bill, I say this every board meeting. Reach out, call my phone, ask me questions before we get here so it don't look like we're going back and forth over bills because we can resolve this before we get to this point here. Go ahead, trustee. No, I don't have nothing else. All right. Any more discussion? Yeah, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, because I, I, I and I guess the the confusion comes whereas how it's supposed to work even last year and how it generally worked. Because we're responsible for finances, it's important for us to know what's being spent. Even though it's for the children, everything has a budget. There's budget lines and there's things put in place. And I heard you say that there's donations. That's fine. We're not being funny when she asks the question, how much do we have in donations? It's important because we want to know if we're spending the money, we still have to make sure the money is there. So when we look at this list and I see five to $6,000 worth of items on here for the 4th of July, but I don't even see the expenses for the fireworks himself. So I don't know how much the fireworks itself will be. But, so that's in addition to what we already have. So when the question is presented, how much do you have? We're not being funny. We're really saying, okay, maybe when you tell us how much you have, if you say, well, I raised $5,000, uh, the total was 15000 and I want the board to approve 10000 That's different than you just charging things and not bringing it over the board when we have a $1,500 ordinance in place, meaning you're supposed to bring it to the board and say, hey, these are the plans. Are you all going to approve it so that we can have this event on the 4th? But when you tell us afterwards, it's just, we're just saying, hey, how much is this total? Because we know that the fireworks itself isn't on this warrant list. So at some point, we have to pay for it. So it's not a matter of not wanting to pay anything for the children. To me, it's just a matter of having a budget put in place. You, co you communicate with your trustees so we know because we have responsible for financing so i can't say enough or stress enough that it's never a matter of what we're paying it's simply a protocol put in process because if we do go bankrupt or if it does uh, uh, present a matter where we can't afford things then that becomes an issue so when we ask hey how much is the budget how much did you raise if you tell us then this will run much smoother if you decide to say to us hey boy i have these expenses for the fourth of july this is what we're doing this is what i want you to approve it'll be different it's just that we're sidetracked when you come up here and you present things that's already being paid out and then when we say we don't want to pay it then it's a problem we don't want it to be a problem we just kind of wanted to figure it out so that while the residents are here we all know where the tax dollars are being spent where they're being allocated that's the only concern so i don't want it to be a, a matter of us not paying for the youth we don't mind that but just moving forward if you can say to us hey this is what's being spent when it's over fifteen hundred dollars follow the protocol that way we're not up here going back and forth we can know what you're spending we won't be sidetracked we're all on one one accord we know what's being spent and we can just move forward so it's not a matter of going back and forth we really just want to know because we are responsible for the finances so every time i ask a question i don't uh, the hostility we're just wondering we don't want to go back and forth we're just wondering so that we all know why we're all here thank you mayor okay <laughs> Just so you're no longer wondering and you got the facts, I normally tell you guys exactly what we're spending, what we're doing as it relates to you guys getting the warrant list. When you get the warrant list, you're got, you guys' job is to call and ask questions if you are concerned about something on the warrant list. But then you'll wait until we have an actual board meeting. Then you'll get here, then y'all will grandstand and say, well, we don't want to pay for this and we don't want to pay for that. You had ample time to go over with me, ask me questions, and say, Mayor, well, what are we doing with this amount? And why are we paying for that? 
And by you being over you, uh, trustee, I would thought you would have made sure you took care of the youth. You guys want to pay for a tea with the trustees and um, DJs and uh, other little crazy stuff. But when it comes to the youth, it's a problem. I have a problem with it and I always will, regardless of if I raise the money or not. <laughs> You guys should pay for the youth. And the reason why I'm saying it is we have a budget. As long as I'm within the budget, I'm allowed to spend within the budget. It is for community. I'm not doing nothing illegal. I'm not doing nothing underhanded. It is for community. But we always have to fight over things like this, which we shouldn't even be debating about when it comes to our kids. We say we want to do better. It starts with us. And then until we do better, then community will get better. But all this back and forth over just little dollars, I, I don't appreciate it. When you guys want me to approve things for your team with the trustees, but you can't approve something that was an actually awesome, awesome event this last Saturday. It was really um, great to see everybody coming out. I appreciate y'all for just showing up, showing out. And the board of trustees didn't even support that. That's a shame. Community, you always be first for me. All right, end of discussion. Let's move on, call the road on the vote. Uh, discount fence. Are you amending that motion for her trustee house? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, um, clerk, you got that. They're amending the. They're amending their motion and adding discount fence. And who second? Are you amending your second with the discount fence? Yes, I am. Okay, can you call call the roll, please? Trustee Brown? Aye. Trustee House? Aye. Trustee Norwood? Aye. Trustee Steve? Aye. Trustee Holmes? Aye. Trustee Belcher? Aye. Motion passed. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Next on agenda is old business. Approval of ordinance number 22 dash block by block um, housing program. Mayor Henry. Um, can I have a motion to approve block by block? Aye. Is, can I have a second? Is there a second to approve block by block housing program? Okay. So you guys don't even want to discuss it, talk about it, nothing. Okay. So as always, I knew it would go like this. Uh, the Board of Trustees choose not to move forward block by block, which is our housing program. I put on the agenda several different times. Every time they've asked me to amend, change, or alter anything as it relates to the ordinance, they wouldn't even um, budge. I did everything they said, jumped through loopholes for community. I have a problem with all of the vacant property in the Village of Dalton, and you, too, you should, too, residents. The problem is you're, we're getting squatters. We're getting people that's coming and taking over people's property. We're getting um, houses that's turning into forests. And every time you call me, guess what? That is costing taxpayer dollars. We have to go and pay public works or a contractor to come out and cut and remove trees and also to remove uh, raccoons. So my the problem that one second residents. So, so chief. Chief, yes, can you give me one minute so I can get it out? So the problem that I have is every single time this goes on the agenda, nothing happens, nothing. And I am tired of constantly asking for support and asking everybody to come together. and Let's do something about the vacant property in the village of Dalton. As you can see, um, this will be... Um, the last time that I will advocate for it this way, I will find a way to make sure I get rid of the vacant property in the village of Dalton. So, Tino, do you have the video for the vacant property, please? <clears throat> Yeah, 
needs the number of times block by block has been up for a vote and the board of trustees said no but they allowed the land bank to come in Prime example, they voted for the land bank. The land bank said they not give the village a dime. <laughs> this is what our community currently looks like. Decades of neglect. We constantly cleaning up debris when called. And of course, we want to get rid of crime. So we're trying to make this change by creating block by block. I'm asking for the Board of Trustees to support me in moving our village forward by getting rid of the vacant properties in town. When I came in, I basically started uh, block by block as a trustee. I did have the support of some trustees up here. And then all of a sudden, everyone flipped. Um, basically, everyone have their own hidden agenda. And their own hidden agenda meaning they want to do what they want to do. But they had a year, one year, to create something for residents to actually put a plan in place to get rid of the vacant property. And to this day, no one has done anything as it relates to the vacant property. But Mayor Henry constantly fights this battle, constantly goes back and forth, and constantly puts it on the agenda because I will not give up residents. I will not stop until we get the change that we need in our community as it relates to the vacant homes. I have a three-year-old daughter that I'm growing up in this community, and I don't want her to live next to abandoned property, and neither should you. You shouldn't want your kids to grow up that way neither. So. I vow to make sure I find a way to make sure we put these vacant properties back on the tax roll. But right now, I just want to point out to you that the trustees do not want to help at all and do not have a plan. So obviously, people got their own hidden agenda. I just want to put that out for the record. Mm. <laughs> Next on agenda is... Yeah, I recognize, Mayor, before you move. I want to yes. speak as well. Uh, Go ahead. Go ahead, Trusty Holmes. I've been supporting this block by block reason because people are looking for opportunities. And if you don't give them an opportunity, then it stalls. Some people like to enhance the quality of their life. And if they got an opportunity to own a place, to change a place, then they have that right to it. They should deal. They should have an opportunity. We've been shut out so long. You know, from slavery days on, nobody has a chance or been given a chance to own anything. But once you get a chance to own something, then take that opportunity and enhance the quality of your life or enhance the quality of your neighborhood. You know, we can't keep looking for a way out. We got to look for a way in. And if you want to build, build within yourself. Excuse me. Um, I had a program as well. Again, we're talking about the same thing back and forth. As of today, they still have not talked to my contact person. So again, you asking me for block by block, nobody of uh, the other trustees have not brought a program together. I say the same thing every month. And every single month, my person has not been contacted. So if you want to talk about a program, I had a program. And if you don't live here, then you don't know about it. Thank okay. you. So okay. the program was brought, again, the village administrator has yet to reach out to my person. So okay. if you want to talk about a program, I have a program. And so, you have yet to have that meeting 
with my person and also with the residents. So, trustees, is this about you or is this about the people? Because you had a Mayor, year. Hold on. Mayor, hold on, trustee. About, hold on. It's about everybody. Trustee. It's not about me. Trustee, let me finish. You had an entire year to implement your program, right? You had an entire year to figure out what you wanted to do with the vacant properties. You had instead, you done nothing. You sat on your hands up here for a year and did nothing with the vacant property. And then you get up here and cry wolf about, hey, y'all did not uh, reach out to my person. You didn't do this. It's five of y'all. Five of y'all had total control to have a committee meeting, to introduce your person, to put it on the agenda. Y'all put everything else on the agenda, right? But you didn't put that on this agenda. Y'all have um, housing committees, right? But y'all didn't put that on your housing committee. So stop it. I wish I would stop playing these games with these residents and actually vote for something that makes sense and actually implement change that we need, that we deserve, residents. Don't y'all want to get rid of the vacant property? We tired of talking about it. We tired of talking about Mayor, it. Mayor, again, again, the program has to be followed by the proper channels. The proper channels is for the village administrator. It doesn't come before committee first. You have to speak to the village administrator first. And if he does not respond, then you can't move forward. So stop, so stop saying, I'm putting it out there and nothing is being done. I can't make a move if the village administrator don't move. Trustee, so proper channels, you follow the proper channels first. The proper procedures is to get the village administrator involved first and then he comes to the housing committee. We can't move if he doesn't move. Okay, so trustees. So, so stop saying I'm grandstanding. I don't have you to are, grandstand. You are. It's not my committee. The committee is trustee Norwoods. It's not trustee Browns. So we are educate y'all on how committees go. It's three people that sit on a committee. Anybody can call for a meeting, number one. But y'all never want to educate yourself up here. So you can easily have a meeting. But you are grandstanding. You know why you're grandstanding? Let's point it out. Did y'all not just see? Hold Please on. I'm, I'm about Please to. Do. I'm about to. So did you not just see the lady that you all voted for on the land bank? How did y'all vote for that? Y'all put it on the agenda and you voted for the land bank to come in our community. Did you go through a housing committee? No, you did not. Did you go through the village administrator? No, you did not. Did you go through the mayor? No, you did not. You guys had your own hidden agenda. You put it on the agenda and you voted for it. That lady didn't have a piece of paper to vote on and you voted her in. You gave our entire fleet of property to the land bank with yeah. no questions. Don't, don't, I've don't asked, hold on, lie. trustee, don't hold on. Trustee, you out of order, you out of order. You didn't ask lie. one question, one question. You out of order, you out of order. You out of order. Attorney, I'm not going to let you lie. You out of order. I'm not going to let you lie. You didn't ask Trust one question. Floor. Just wait till the mayor is done. Sir, I'm not going to allow her to lie. Thank you. And I'm not lying. Y'all just saw the evidence on the screen. Go back to the board meeting and pull the tape. I've asked them Please not to do. vote for the land Please bank. Do. I've asked the land bank, hey, if we give you all our inventory, which the board voted for, are you going to give us anything? She said we're not going to make a dime because she had to keep her lights on. That doesn't make sense. But what I created was something for community. What I created was dollar houses, $5,000 homes to give back to community. Owner occupied. We don't want renters. We want owner occupied. So until we start putting the residents first, then we will do better with our community. Until then, it will be the way it is because of people like this on our board. Mayor, this is my last words. I'm not going to do the Go back ahead. and forth. You just said my program. It's not our program. Yours. So until you can get everybody involved, no, I will not be voting for Black by Black. You okay, got my so, word on it tonight. And, and that's fine. You've kept your word forever, oh, trustee. So as it relates to when I say my program, because I'm the one that's initiating the program, like you just said, your program, right? right. That means you're initiating it. So is it ours or is it yours? So we can't play with this ours, yours, his, hers. Stop it. But what I'm saying, though, is that when I speak of my program, it's something that I initiated. And when I tried to make it ours, when I put it on the floor several times, I've asked each trustee, and I quote, Guys, put what you want in it. Take what you want from it. Just implement it. We need it. 
You could have put whatever you wanted into this program that you're saying you have already implemented in this program and we could coexist. I'm okay with that. I have no problem with you having a program, I'm having a program, whoever come up with great ideas. But the whole point of the matter that I care about the most is us doing something about the vacant properties in the community. Them not constantly sitting there. Them not constantly costing us money in the village of Dobson. That's what I truly care about. Until we fix that, we won't get anywhere. That's what I want the board to do. So thank you. And it's amazing how everybody got so much to say, but y'all won't even give me a motion to even discuss it. But the minute I get to talking, everybody got something to say about it. But we'll move on. Um, new business. May I, may I be There's no, we're going to move on, trustee. There's no new business, yeah. so we're going to go to... You, you stated uh, some things regarding the... Tr black trustee, black black. trustee, we're going to move on. We're done with May it. I, we're moving I on, trustee. The motion. You're out of, you're the out motion of order. didn't get a second. Um, the topic's been addressed. So there's no on. discussion. No longer, okay. No longer. Thank you. So attorney, attorney, the mayor can talk about... She can, that's how it goes? Right. If there's a motion, not a, there's Everybody, motion, not a second, no discussion, do we move on to that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so moving on. So new business um, here. And, uh, um, next we have mayor's report, the and then everybody will be able to get up to address the board. I so, make a motion to suspend the rules. Let's, let's go. Let's go to mayor's report. Attorney, there's a motion so, on the floor to suspend the rules in a second. Look, attorney, what do you what do you say about that? One second. You guys did not put none on this agenda. Y'all didn't want to talk what, about anything. What is that's why. Say? Hold on, attorney. Can you you out of order. You out of order, trustee. Okay. Trustee, you out of order. Tell them, attorney. attorney you guys you didn't put nothing on this agenda. That's why it's one item on agenda, residents. It's the only thing that I put on the agenda. Attorney so if Taylor. anybody up here wanted to discuss it's anything, a a they could have. Y'all out of order. Can I finish? Please. There's a motion in a second. You guys could have discussed whatever you wanted. You could have put it on the agenda just like I did. But the minute that I got something to say, everybody else got something to say. But y'all don't got no agenda item on here whatsoever. That's my issue with my trustees. So now when someone tell you you can't talk or you want to move on, everybody got something to say. We want to move forward because we're done talking about block by block. No one wants to vote on it. There's no more discussion. Let's move on so the residents can speak and we can all go home. Because there was nothing to discuss today. There's a motion and a second on the table. We're going on to... The is next there, thing, which is the trustee, the rules. trustee, 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 you out of order. Okay, going on to mayor's report. So next, we're going to talk about a couple things. One, uh, Tino, you can get ready. You can play the, the first video, motion which is the things that I've done in this community. I'll make a I've done a journey meeting. I've done a ton of things in this community as it relates to just putting on for my community for the last uh, year. And when I say that um, I hit the ground running in my first year, I really did. So the first thing I did when I first came um, as mayor, I basically had a foot patrol. And in the foot patrol, we basically had the police go door to door and walk and do whatever they need. Tell them to get it. Okay, y'all out of order, residents. Oh, oh, oh. We, 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 got it. we made a motion in a second. Chief. Okay, if we can have order for one second. A, we got a motion in a second on the floor. It is, exactly. It's, it's a motion in a second to suspend the rules. Say, is he going to talk? Are we going to let him talk before we walk out? Chessie, about your way. Let's see if he's going to talk before we... See, let's see if he's gonna goodbye. This is definitely a dictatorship. So, there, okay, if I could have, yeah, go ahead. There, there was a proper motion and there was a second. Okay. Yes. I didn't hear the motion, I believe it was to suspend the rules. Yes, okay, there needs to be a roll call. Okay, and we su suspend the rules to do what? And that, I'm just repeating the motion. I'm not certain. What are we doing? We're suspending rules to do what? I just need to know. To have to do what one trustee wants to finish her statement that she didn't finish to make a statement, really. Hey, really, yes. y'all didn't put none on the agenda, there's nothing to talk about. Somebody Let me get through my report, let the residents speak, and then we go home. There's hey. nothing else to talk about. The residents really spoke this last election, too. Okay, well, let them speak at this podium. And your election coming up, too, trustee Steve's. <laughs> so be ready because I'm definitely coming for that seat. Good lord, know that, know that. 
Her Ooh. last name is Steve, what? not Steve's. It's Steve. Let's be respectful of each other, please. That's how you properly pronounce my name, Steve. Lord. Attorney, what were you saying? Were you yeah, go go ahead, trustee. Says you got something to say now. You don't get your statement on record, so we can move forward. Mayor, you you discussed the block by block program. Just so the residents know, because we, there should be full transparency, you stated that there is no movement in regards to us figuring out a plan for the vacancies. We had a housing committee meeting where, as you stated, we did adopt the South Suburban Land Bank. The South Suburban Land Bank is one who we once had before and which you voted on as a trustee. So th this same program, this same company is the same company that we brought back to deal with the vacancies. But now as a mayor, I see that you're against it. When what do they do? Take care of vacancies. So if we're saying, hey, we've already adopted them, they've already voted us in, we know that they're going to take care of the liens, the taxes, the water bills. They're going to be liable for the insurance. You say we take over all these properties, but what's our plan in regards to these properties? We're now liable. For these properties once we take them over so any it, liability we take why not just give them to the land bank so that they can do because this is what they specialize in neighboring calumet city uses the land bank to get rid of their vacancies so all i really wanted to do is just for the residents who aren't aware who haven't been watching the meetings just so they know just to clear up something that you stated we do have a plan in place and that is the land bank we will have a housing committee meeting at the end of this month where we'll have an update in regards to the vacant homes but that's the plan to let someone who we trust come in partner up with them so we actually know where the homes are being given to where we know exactly someone we can contact and say hey this this home what are you doing about this right now due to the lack of transparency we feel that it's best to stick with the south suburban land bank and let them assist us with our vacancies that's all i wanted to say mayor just clear up those statements that you made for the residents who haven't been tuning in Thank you. All right, moving on. Um, Mayor's report. Tino, you could get ready. Um, basically, a couple things I got to make a note of. A year ago, I became mayor. Uh, May 8th of 2028, I got sworn in as the first female mayor of Dalton and the youngest. Um, I am so proud of my accomplishments here. Um, it's been nothing but an uphill battle as it relates to fighting over transparency, accountability, and basically just corruption in Dalton that we really, really have. Um, I've never seen a mayor go through what I've went through as a young woman, number one. When Riley was mayor, half of the things that these trustees doing, they didn't say. They was on mute, especially the guys. Didn't say anything to any of his corruption. Some trustees went to the feds on Mayor Riley. So the crazy part is, y'all didn't go out to his seat. Y'all didn't try to recall him. He was cutting out people water um, as it relates to over the weekend, three days without water. I have a problem with that. And I vow to always fight for the people and what's right and what was needed. So I'm going to just show you a little cap of the things that I've been working on as mayor. And people talk a good talk, but they ain't been doing nothing for an entire year. But this is what I've been up to for an entire year. Tino, play the video. So while you watching the video, these are different programs that we had and we still got going on. Food giveaways, gas giveaways, 
business grants throughout the community to small businesses. Stop the violence march when I first got in office. Fitness workout at Melly Fitness. I always playing with the kids. So when we started all this, No one will ever come up with things to help the community. So what I wanted to do is make sure I gave back by creating something with the um, opera funds, which was the 1.5 million that we did receive. And that was the roof and windows uh, grant. What that consists of is anybody that's a senior or a veteran, you can get a free roof, and that's what we just showed you. We did complete tear off, things of that nature, and then we also replaced it windows throughout community, as long as you was a senior um, citizen or a veteran. We also gave out $5,000 grants to a business district. Uh, as long as you had uh, made less than 250000 you can get a business grant for $5,000. We also did street resurfacing throughout our community. We normally do them in spells and groups. Um, something else that no mayor ever has done is alley resurfacing. Currently now we are resurfacing alleys throughout the village of Dalton. If you are in need of any repairs for an alley, please reach out to the village of Dalton so they can assess um, your alley and add you onto the list. Um, something else that we're constantly doing now is sidewalk repairs. Anybody that need a sidewalk um, replaced um, or repaired, please reach out so that you can go on the list as well and we will get to your sidewalk. Um, another thing that's real huge now is the demo. We have demolition projects going on throughout the village of Dalton. I know that we did put in for, I think, uh, about 20 properties that we're going to demo uh, coming up. I know if you go past Langley and Lincoln, it was a house. When I say that house was covered like with forest, we just cleared the house up and we got like uh, orange tape around it. So you might want to go by there before we demo that property. But we're going to videotape it and then we'll show the public. Um, another thing we did was the Juneteenth Father's Day cookout. That was really great. The water giveaway. A lot of people don't know what we truly do. Um, when we had the 90 degree weather, we was out basically giving our water to all our homes. It wasn't just seniors. We, we did check on the seniors, but any resident that was in me, and if you was in a hot house and you did not have AC, we took you out of that property and we put you in a cooling station that we had in the village of Dalton. Um, this is one of our water giveaways. <laughs> so this is one of our videos giving away water we had the police the fire department public works and as that was out on the scene going door to door giving out water every single day of the 90 degree weather also we just swore in three new police officers last week um i think chief you had a total of did you say 11 hired for hired for new officers so i'm proud to announce that we are trying to get our police department um back on track and last but not least um you already know how i feel about block by block um the housing initiative one other thing that i do want to announce is the cleanup on 142nd we are cleaning up that project on 142nd and cottage grove um that was a lot of dumping over there a lot of trees bushes we're cutting down and cleaning up that area so if anybody wants to develop it or buy it it is for sale the village do own that another project i had was 300 west sibley 300 west sibley is down there by it's the ojo river center but it's down by beggars pizza for that project I'm doing my restaurant row and what that consists of is 10 sit down restaurants because I want my community to look like the next community that we always go to to make sure we can have a sit down meal and um, have fun with our family members uh, the next project I'm working on is the kid zone and to my right he has it on the screen if anybody just want a visual of what that will look like uh, the kids zone is on Greenwood. It's where our Melly Fitness um, Center is. Melly Fitness, I want to turn into a sky zone. And then down Greenwood, I want to bring the following. I want to bring a skate park, um, a doggy park, and a splash pad for uh, community. And what that consists of is just creating it because it can happen now. And we can pay for it and build it out now. This is not a 10-year bid project. These projects can happen right now as we speak. 
um, across the street here from the old secrets. I want to put a uh, veterans park. It's literally right across the street. We own that vacant stretch of land there. The old secrets right here to my left, they're going to put a sit down upscale steakhouse to my left. And across the street, they're going to do a blues jazz open concept like downtown. So I just wanted to tell you some of the projects that I am working on, some of the projects that I've been dealing with for the last year. And I'm just asking community for their support. I'm asking the board of trustees for their support as well. Um, next and last but not least, we have a big community cleanup and that will be July 23rd and 24th. And that will be um, throughout the community. We will announce where and we will go block by block cleaning up everyone's property. <laughs> And well, what that entails is um, we will come to your homes, and I got a whole bunch of people that's actually on board with this, uh, Cook County Sheriffs. We have uh, police department, fire department, public works. We have uh, Prokarski and Sons. So we will come with all these people and all this equipment, uh, including the township, and we will basically cut grass, trim trees, trim bushes, and we will make sure we beautify um, our area. We're going to start in segments. So those two days, we're going to start probably from Blackstone all the way to Cottage, and we will clean that entire area. And the reason why I'm doing it that way is because I want to show people that this this is how your community should look. And once we clean it up, your job is to keep it up so that now um, people will understand what it feels and looks like to be in an um, up-and-coming community. So that's all I have for Mayor's Report. I just wanted you guys to know what my vision was for the village. Um, thank you. Now, before we get to um, Citizens Address, the last thing that I did want to announce was um, the thing that everybody's talking about and asking me about, which is um, the recall. First and foremost, I am still your mayor. I am going to keep my seat. I'm going to obtain my seat. What the Board of Trustees tried to do is try to remove me from office because I would not play politics here in the village of Dalton. I cannot be bought. I cannot be bossed. And I won't stand down to people that try to bully me. I am a single young black woman and I have to fight this wonderful fight of politics, unfortunately, to make sure that I keep respect within my community that is losing this ground. When I said that um, when I took over, it was so much corruption ghost pay ruin, everything going on in our community. And now that I'm trying to weed it out, they felt the need to remove me and put a puppet there because they felt they could control that individual. Um, I was appointed by, I was um, elected, not appointed, elected by the people a year ago, retaining 82% of the vote in the village of Dalton. So that's over half y'all. So that means y'all wanted me as your mayor. When I say that every trick and negative thing in the book came out, it did. But one thing y'all should be proud of with me is I did not um, bash anybody. I did not put out any bad literature. I didn't waste my money like that. I basically talked about the things that I truly, truly do in our community. I basically showed you my work. I show what my work consists of, which is always putting on for my community and creating things for my community. So first, let's take you down memory line. Yes, another one, because it's the best way to educate the public instead of just doing something. Um, December 6th, if I'm not mistaken, was the date. I'm trying to find it. No, I don't see it. December 6th, um, the Board of Trustees basically came in and they um, put a referendum question on a agenda, like how today's an agenda. And they voted for three questions, which was one, was the mechanism to remove myself um, or recall me um, as mayor. And the second one is to remove me as office. And that's why you saw two separate questions on the ballot. Um, on December 8th, we took a vote and we had a special board meeting at 10 a.m. on that day to basically have a meeting um, to talk about removing me from office. I told them that wasn't right. 
I told them that was back doorish and they should not have done that because the people was not available to talk about it. When I say we had a secret meeting at 10 a.m., that meeting lasts from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I have a problem with that and you should too. I also told the board of trustees, if it's good for me, it should be good for you. They did not. They did not act themselves in this recall. It was only for the mayor. So that's what you call dictatorship. And that's why I keep trying to explain to the residents what has happened. Um, next, fast forward. Here we are. The stuff came on the um, ballot, and we went to court. When I say that judge, and I love this judge, uh, Keith, what was the judge's name? Carcuda. Car Judge Carcuda was dead on, and I'm going to release the transcripts of what the judge did say. Do you remember word for word? No? Um, Go speak in the mic. Because I want you to understand how fair this judge was when we went to court. I went to court, and I said that the Board of Trustees was basically uh, doing something that was unconstitutional, unethical, as related to a recall. Normally, when you hear about a recall, it's because someone done something Phone, like stole money, committed a crime. I haven't done any of those things. My recall is strictly because of dislike. People not getting along with their mayor. It's plenty of boards around the country, for that matter, that don't get along with their boards, but keep their seats for their terms of four years. So, once this judge, go ahead, um, turn. The judge's order, uh, prior to issuing his order, the judge stated on the record for all parties that he believed it was simply unfair. That Mayor Henyard ran for office. She ran for office with the expectation of a four-year term that this regulation rule that permitted a recall was not in place at the time, and she wasn't allowed to consider that. And he said that she was a young woman who should be given an opportunity to serve out her full term. And then he found the referendum questions, both of them, the mechanism and the question on the recall, void and unenforceable. Yes. So... So that's what happened on the first court. Then the second court date, the Board of Trustees tried to go back and redo it. You can speak to the second court date. So an appeal was filed by the, the board. Um, the appellate court took no position um, on the substance of it, said it was um, too short of a time to permit briefing and oral argument. The appellate court said with regard to the sequestering of all the votes, that the county clerk shall post an unofficial tally of the votes so that we know how people voted, but that they wouldn't be effective until further order of the court. So the votes essentially are just listed for public information. They are not effective. Um, this has to be briefed over the summertime, and there'll be an oral argument in the appellate court in September. Okay. So I just wanted you guys to get an understanding of what's going on in our village, what has happened, and why me and the Board of Trustees are at odds. You see that they all left, right? But they're here for you. This is the only meeting that we have in July, but they left their post. We get elected to do a job, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, whether it's hard or ugly. We're supposed to stand here and stand the course. So just know what you did elect. It is seats that will be up in September. So y'all make sure y'all remember those people so that you can remove them from office, how they tried to take your voice of 82% and take me out of office without your say-so. That's what they tried to do, guys. And I just wanted you to hear from the attorney what happened and what are our next step. So now I need you more than ever to take a stance with your mayor to make sure you tell the trustees that you will not stand for a recall and you will not uh, have your Mayor removed from office because you want her here. So next, let's talk about the real issues at hand. Everybody want to talk about money, but they ain't telling you this. They spent over one hundred fifty thousand dollars in counting. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get at a half a million dollars with Burt Olderson's law firm group um, that could have been used for the following. Now, this hasn't been budget for everybody talk about budget and you should have did it the right way. They didn't do this the right way. They basically spent $150,000 of your money without your say so. It could have went towards three paved valleys. It could have went to one street resurfacing project, 50 sidewalk projects, 30 driveways could have been fixed. Trees could have been trimmed across the entire west side of Dalton. 
We could have had two new police um, officers with new salaries, 15 new street lights, a half mile stretch of new water mains, uh, 22 new roofs, 30K could have went out to you guys for taxes. A tax rebate could have went throughout our community. 25 demos in our, for homes throughout Dalton. Three new, brand new playgrounds on that Greenwood project could have been done. The skate park, the basketball courts, which the basketball courts um, I'm working on right now. I have a lot of people that's donating for that that will come into fruition this year, matter of fact, this month. So stay tuned for that. And again, these are things that could have been done, but yet they spent the money on personal issues attacking instead of working together so when people ask me um to work with the trustees it goes both ways we both must work together and until we can find a happy medium guys it's time to re-elect trustees just remember that <laughs> but one thing i will say about trustee homes Trusty Homes is the only one that a lot of people thought was going to be uh, bitter, uh, vindictive, backstabbing. The only one that actually stood with me and is still here standing his ground. All them people that said those things about him, that man has done nothing but uh, welcome me with, with um, graciousness and basically help me with any project that I've tried to create for the village of Don. So y'all remember that because um, he did run against me for mayor and guess what? We've been the best of friends, shockingly. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Trust me, Thank you. Thank you, Mabby. Recognize? Yes, go ahead. First and foremost, um, I'm going to say this. I work with any and everybody, but when I see you hurting the peoples, then it's time for me to distance myself from you. I ran to help people. Can't do it all by myself. And I apply to each and every man, even if some that are standing in here, because there's so much crime throughout this city, throughout this village. It's been a lot of the men who in the Dalton have not been recognized because, see, they're not having it on their block. And they've been the first ones to stand up and address that issue on their block. But I haven't seen so much in this village since I've been a trustee. And excuse my language. It's a damn shame that trustees that was here before me, hmm. bickering and fighting mm -hmm. with Riley mm -hmm. the same way. And I say this and I mean it. But you same ones that was bickering and fighting and not worrying about tax people dollars, but you in the same damn room right now mm -hmm. trying to destroy this village now. You couldn't get in a room mm -hmm. when he was mayor. You wouldn't go. But now you all get in the same room and try to destroy this village and try to put venom and let this village bleed. Yep. Until I see wrong, then I step away. But I'm going to stand as long as it's right. When I see more women lose their job in, with this last administration, more women that lost their jobs, forced out of here. Some are relocated with the help of the FBI and other states until they can uh, continue this investigation and get to the point where they have to make some arrests because of so much money that have been stolen in this village. Mm -hmm. And I say that from the past trustees to the last mayor. I ran mm -hmm. against him because I seen things that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that I hate that man. It, it were things that wasn't right. And there are things that had need to be changed. People forced out of their job. Police department. Police is in Dalton. Couldn't talk to me because you were dictating them not to talk to me because you wanted to hide the, the crime that was in this village. And I didn't want to hide it. I go to the media, I put it out because I feel they should know one way or another whether you put it out or not because they can get shot if it's not out there. Police are scared to talk to me. That was in Dalton because of this crime because you know why? They had a family and they had a job. And for you, the last mayor administration, to tell them not to talk to me and in fear of their job, you were wrong. But then you called me in your office 
and tell me who to talk to and who not to talk to, who to mm -hmm. take a picture with and who not to take a picture with, who to stay away from and who not to eat mm -hmm. with. I'm a grown man. You're not going to tell me who to talk to. You're not going to tell me when to stop. It's like telling me when I got to go to the washroom. It's about this village. It's about this people. And I don't care who the mayor is. The people own this village. The people run this. And if you don't like it, then move. I don't have no hatred in Riley. I pray for his help. But when you try to dictate and try to tell me what to do and not help the people, and when it came down to crime, you didn't want the people to know about the crime. And I said this, and I said from my heart, from the last trustees was here, and I meant it. You all around the table now, trying to discuss what to do, how to end things in this village. Stand up and listen to these people. Everybody got an opportunity here, even the trustees that are on this board now. There's many rooms here in this village, in this hall. Sit around the table, discuss things. Let's get things out the way. Let's get, get these taxes down. Let's help. The people won't help. They want to see this place grow. And it just hurts me that our African-American people, whether they're men or women, are still yep. trying to destroy each other. Yeah. They will charge it to my head and not my heart. Come if on. it was another race and another creed and a color up here, nobody would say nothing. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And you look at how Malcolm X and Dr. King wanted mm. to uplift this state and uplift yep. this city, and now you're going backwards. We don't have time to go backwards. We don't have time to do this, and we don't have time to do that. And if it was anything that was going wrong, any money that's been stolen, any mm -hmm. money that has been misused and abused, mm -hmm. there's the U.S. Marshal and FBI would love to come in here and do what they have mm -hmm. to do to take yeah. these things down. So while we got our people here and while we're holding these seats, let's keep these seats, keep moving, and educate our children. Yeah. Thank you, trustee. Are you done? done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to open it up for citizens address. We're going to end on that note. Thank you, trustee Holmes. Okay. You got three minutes. Chief, you got it, Chief Collins? Oh, got doing it. it. Okay. Yes, any resident that would like to address, I guess, me and trustee Holmes and the clerk. <laughs> By all means, come on up. And so I want to start with the $750 ticket. I got the last meeting, and I feel like it's highly inappropriate after seeing what happened today. And so I'll be looking forward to court on the 7th about that $750 ticket. Also, I foyered the clerk on May 18th around that day for the attorney fees for the trustees, and I wasn't given my FOIA, but Jason House read into record over $70,000 in invoices for attorney fees. So I, I would like to speak with you later about why I haven't received that FOIA when that information had been readily available. Also, um, I would like to pass out paperwork on the recall um, so people can call in and attend the Zoom for court so that we won't have to listen to secondhand information about what's going on in court regarding this recall. Um, it's still in court. It hasn't been decided. And there are still upcoming court dates. I will be passing this information out. Um, also, I would like the fire hydrants fixed in my area, especially after seeing what went on on the 4th. We definitely need fire hydrants and not just water on the engines. And um, I want the bus towed over there on 151st and Everest. It's in public property. It's been there two years and it's rotting. And I've been calling the police since May 18th or 19th and I would like towed. They said 10 days. It's been two months. And so, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Madam Mayor, Trustee Holmes and uh, our distinguished clerk and all you are residents. Uh, everybody here is an American citizen, aren't you? Raise your hand if you're an American citizen. I mean, if you're, if you're an American citizen, raise your hand. You, you know, if you're that's all, I just want to know. Mayor, if I could make a positive suggestion that by way of either executive order or whatever legislative process, because there's a process, that you declare 
this town a town of civility, of civility. You defeat a bad idea with a good idea. You defeat a bad idea with a good idea. What you saw in Highland Park yesterday is very significant because the number one problem in America now is violence. Violence is a public health crisis, not gun violence. Consider, trustee Holmes, that you all declare this town as a town of civility. I want you to think about that. Residents need to chime in because there's a way to stagnate some things that this town is dealing with. And I would suggest that you explore that idea of declaring, let this be the first town in America to declare itself a town of civility. And believe me, residents, once you understand what how you use this method, you will see a difference in this town. Just want to thank you for that. I support you, I'm correct. <laughs> Um, I'm a business owner and I own probably multiple homes in Dalton right now as well. Um, I purchased the buildings across the street with the new windows for a cigar lounge. I also purchased the restaurant, the old barbecue house, and the corner lot as well, um, the old antique spot. Um, my plan was to put a cigar lounge there. That's where we started the rehab. I'm 600000 in and we paid our taxes in Active Village for no finance. Not a dime. My problem is when I came up here to get a permit, I was told that my permit was denied. Don't know what reason. Followed all the procedures, filled out the proper paperwork. Came back in, I was asked to speak to you. Instead, I got the young man right here, Keith. He told, told my contractor that we were still in lights. Had my lawyer call ComEd, that was false information. Second thing that I did as well was, we also contacted my lawyer as well as far as the ordinance that you guys gave me saying that I couldn't have a cigar lounge in the city of Dalton. We went back, me and my lawyer looked at the videotape saying that that ordinance that I received from the young lady that works here, it was falsified documents. All I'm asking now, I pay my taxes, all my properties here, taxes I paid up. I'm $100,000 in taxes over a year in Dalton, not counting my businesses. All I want to know is why I can't get a permit to finish rehabbing across the street. We the only business on this block with new windows. We doing fully gut rehab. We pay cash for every location. Never asked a dime from Dalton at all. We didn't ask for no debate of anything, and we still keep getting denied. Instead of using the contract that I usually use, we came and got Dalton contractors. The old inspector that used to work for you guys that still trains some of your inspectors works directly for me, and I pay him to do consulting. Instead, you still deny my contract. So I'm just trying to figure out why is that being done. And that's other things that we can't talk about on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I would, I would never, ever disrespect you or throw you under the bus. We didn't have words before. Wasn't in a form like this. I would never put that out there. But all I want to know is how do I move forward with my business? That's all I want to know. So do I have to schedule another meeting? Besides, without this guy right here, but have a meeting with you, with my lawyer, you have your lawyer. I do not want to meet with this, this man, Keith, at all. At all. Okay, so we'll talk off record, meaning you get you just told on yourself the things that the issues you have. Yep. So I can't say because that's in litigations, the issues that you do have. Correct. So but no I can't issues. speak to that right now. But the issue was with this guy. It wasn't even with you. Okay, since we want to okay but I'm right, saying it's you in, you're in litigation, I, so you can't discuss seconds. that. No, you say I got 30 seconds. I got 30 seconds. One of the two that worked for me, Mrs. Belcher. And Ms. Belcher worked for me. I was told to fire Ms. Belcher in order to get my business open. I refused. I refused. Oh, yeah. I refused to fire Ms. Belcher to keep in order to get my business. Okay. Amen. Amen. I do get people for defamation of character, so I have some truth in that. I have some truth in that. Go ahead. Good evening, Mayor. Um, my name is Rosie Leftwich. I live at 15230 Urban Avenue. I hear you say that you care about the children, the youth. Um, what are you going to do about the parks and the playground 
I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? No. I'll pause your turn. Hello. I don't like this. Um, Mayor, uh, as I said, you are very you speak that you care about the kids and the children. And I want to know what are your plans to renovate these playgrounds? The one across the street from where I live is full of grass. The mulch is growing grass. So what are you going to do about that? Well, just for the record, because a lot of people don't understand how this works, I am not over playgrounds. Playgrounds are governed by the park. It's two different bodies of government. You got the park district, and then you have the mayor. Mm -hmm. The mayor, we just over the city, the town. The park is over playgrounds, uh, activities. So you have to go to their board meeting to ask them about their playgrounds. But I did talk to them about it as it relates to your issues because I got the same concerns. And normally I do help them when they can't get things cut. But I don't govern the playgrounds. I govern the town, streets, lights, uh, floods, stuff like that, your houses. That's what I govern. Okay. Um, yeah. My second question is, um, maybe I don't understand this. But the property that's abandoned, are we contacting the owners of this property? Yes. So we contact every vacant property. We try to find out who the owners are. If they are bank owned, we do write tickets on any property. I know people don't think we do. We write a tons of tickets. After a while, a lien becomes available on that property. And normally we as a village will go out to that property by holding a lien against it. But the board won't vote for any of that. So that's why the property still sits there. Okay. And my final question is, um, just being here, it seems like things are very personal uh, instead of mm -hmm. being about mm -hmm. the issues. Mm -hmm. Mine, they, yes. so forth and so on. Let's do business the right way. Mm -hmm. It's not your city. Mm -hmm. You're the mayor. Mm -hmm. And you have trustees. Guys, work together. Don't blame uh, Mr. Riley. Don't get in this, on this podium and talk about what he did. Talk about what you're doing and what you plan to do. Don't throw him under the bus like that. And that's my final word. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Because my voice is soft. Mm -hmm. My name is Linda Walker, and I've been a resident of Dalton for 34 years. I raised my children and grandchildren right here in this community in the same home. I have two questions in reference to this recall. The first one is why. The second one, what's the rush? I've been in Dalton, I've been in Dalton under four different leaderships. William Shaw, Ronnie Lewis, Riley Rogers, and now, you can't hear me? And now, the Honorable, Honorable Tiffany Hinyard. One main difference between Tiffany and the other three mayors is that she was born and raised in Dalton. She loves this community. Her family is here, right here in Dalton, and she's raising her daughter here also. She cares about the community and has compassion for the residents. Mayor Tiffany is a visionary. For example, this beautiful village hall that you are in today, the mayor felt that the residents deserved a place of beauty to come in and conduct city business. A village hall that speaks to how we feel about our community. It's bright, it's welcoming, it's clean, it's organized, and it's a professional environment. She started off with beautifying the village hall. Her next step is the vision. One minute. Her next step is a vision for beautifying her own downtown, 
which is which she has presented the blueprint to the community <coughs> for. We retain, we need to retain Mayor Tiffany because she has also implemented programs for the residents to, to maintain their, their most valuable asset, which is their home, through roof and window replacements. She wants to beautify the community by repairing sidewalks and alley pavements, which is now in progress. She cares for the seniors here in Dalton and has proven this by establishing snow removal and town maintenance programs as both a safety and beautification tool. She has sponsored two gas giveaways for the residents during, financial, during this financial difficulty. She cares for the residents and has proven this when she established the amnesty program to help the residents keep their water on through a payment program. You, let me just say this, you elected Mayor Tiffany to change, so give her the opportunity to, to implement her vision for Dalton. She has, just one more thing, she has already begun establishing the programs which I have spoken on. Now allow her the time needed to complete this vision. Remember, Rome, Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day. My name is Herbert Rux, and my wife is not here today because she's a talker. Do uh, you know this uh, mayor? And she gave me this list to read off to talk about the um, the board members, <laughs> but I, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. But I appreciate the board members that did stay. Andrew Holmes and Miss Key, the clerk, Bruce Kirk. Um, and uh, the only problem I have with you, Mayor, is that, you know, we, we forgot that you can't put new wine in a old bottle. You, you should have never bought those people that was in that old regime with you. That's the, when every black folk in here know what that means. So when election time comes, you, 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 you make the right choices. And we'll vote for right choices. Uh, good evening, Madam Mayor and trustees that decided to stay. Uh, my name is Bobby. I've been a resident in Dalton. I uh, purchased the property in uh, early 2019, I believe January 2019. I'm um, over the road truck driver, so this is my first time actually being able to attend a meeting. I, I, the, the former mayor, I did used to watch it uh, on cable, and I said, wow, hasn't much changed. <laughs> but I hope that changes. My concern is the property taxes in the community. Uh, my mortgage has doubled uh, in recent months. And is there any recourse? Is, is there any justification for taxes going up so high? Is that going to force residents out that are on fixed income? So that's my, ma my main concern. And I've had street lights out on my block on Van Buren 14508 Van Buren for like months. So at night is pitch dark. But what about these taxes? And, and I went over to uh, South Holland and they told me that uh, Dalton and uh, Riverdale it got hit hard. Mm -hmm. and, and I drive through these communities and I see a lot of vacancies. So why are we being taxed? So, and what can we do about those taxes to get, yeah. you know, to get the, my mortgage doubled? I can't, I, I'm going to have to move or sell or do something because mm -hmm. I can't so afford to pay it. Okay, so one thing that you can do now is go to the township and talk to Cassandra Hobart. She's the tax assessor for Thorne Township. It's in South Holland? Yes, in oh, South Holland. Mm -hmm. 333 East, 162nd Street. There. Mm -hmm. And she helped you fill out that form. Well, that's she step said one. I can follow an appeal, but that yep. is all that, Right, that's the step one. Step two is I'm meeting with um, Kagi. He did re uh, win his seat for re-election. Okay. He is the Cook County tax assessor. And we're going to sit down to reassess all the taxes. So I got to meet with him in two weeks. Okay. Yep, and then I can give you a better answer as it relates to him because he's the one that adjusts our taxes. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. I want to congratulate you on your historical victory thank as you. mayor of Dalton. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor, trustees, my name is Gregory Dorsey. Uh, I never thought I would spend this much time on my birthday being here, but you know, 
it is what it is. Uh, Happy birthday. 60, 60 years young. Uh, or like I used to say, 45 with 15 years experience. But uh, I'm here today because uh, I'm the guy that DJ the MS Walk. I DJed it for several reasons. I have friends and family that have MS. And I've been fighting since May to get paid. And what I was told that the mayor said, do not pay nobody that does anything for the trustees. So I've been coming here every week. I've left tons of messages on Genesis voicemail. I talked to Keith and he said, as a man, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna try to do something and I'm gonna get back with you. Well, I haven't heard back from him, but during that time, I had death in my family. So I was trying to get out of town and I said, well, if I can get this money from Dalton, I can go, but I had to borrow it. I had to take a loan just to get back and forth out of town. But that's just one. I got just two quick moments because uh, my wife is here and she's ready to go take me to dinner or something for birthday. But uh, another issue that I was having, I stayed 1322 East 146th Street and a light pole fell December 17th. And I've been questioning, questioning about getting it put back up and no response since then. I've, I've talked to ComEd, I talked to Julia Pierce about it, and they're trying to figure out how can they help me get this light pole back? Because when it gets dark, it gets dark. And, you know, where I stay, we're not exempt from crime, carjacking, robbery. So when my wife come home in the evening, you can bet I'm standing outside in my driveway with my nine millimeter because my duty is to protect my wife and my property. And the third issue, on 146th Street between Kimber and Dorchester, most of the cars use that as a raceway. And I would like to know who could put a stop sign on 146th in Kenwood or on either corner because, well, I say between Woodlawn and Dorchester, it's a raceway for cars, you know, and there's no stop sign there. And during the winter time, a car came to prevent an accident. They rolled up in my grass. And, you know, it's just crazy. That's all. Okay. Well, take care. I got to go enjoy my birthday. All right. Well, happy birthday. And, and Stacy, you have that? Both. Okay. 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 So my name is Misha. I was hesitant about coming up here because I just felt like it was just a pissing match. I didn't know whether I was in grammar school or high school or what was going on. And I had all these adults that are acting like this. Uh, no respect for the mayor at all. I was disgusted. Um, and if that's how you treat her, I mean, come on now. Uh, not an ex a good example at all. And then I, you hear everyone voicing their opinion, and if someone says something that the other doesn't like, everybody pissed off. And I thought we all had a right to have our own opinion about what we feel. Uh, that's why it's called freedom of speech. Um, now, uh, this is my first meeting. I don't know if I'm coming back, because some, some that I've seen is just, it's nonsense. And it's a testament of I'm seeing you know, trustees walk off. It's just a sign of disrespect. Um, however, I stand with Mayor no. Tiffany. I stand with her. Um, and when she's talking about her project, the Black by Block, I mean, come on now. Who doesn't want all these abandoned homes? Uh, and no one is in them. Uh, grass is up to here. And then you wonder why you got all these raccoons and possums and rodents that find somewhere to live and then they in your house and you can't get them out because of how everything is. And so I'm a supporter on that. And then she hasn't even been in office. So you all have not given her a fair chance mm. at what she's trying to do. And I feel like she being tested and tried because she's young mm. and it's sad. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say every young person, they're not worthy because they, you, we think they don't have any wisdom because they're younger. Uh, it's, it's absolutely absurd. Um, so I stand with her and uh, I support you. Um, and I might, or I may not come back because it's just, it's nonsense. Uh, make you don't even want to stand up and say anything because everybody is combative, disrespectful, mm -hmm. swearing. 
uh, like we in a pissing match with some kids out here. So what are we going to show our kids if we can't even respect yep. each other in here as adults? Yep. What you going to show your kids? You know, and I don't like to attack with folks like that. I run in the other direction because we have absolutely nothing in common. We don't have anything to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm new to those. <laughs> I've only been out here for two years. But I do know when I first bought my home uh, under the other mayor, and I heard somebody talk about how he was cutting off water. My water was cut off. And um, the, mail, the water bills was going somewhere else to an address that I didn't even know anything about. So I didn't even get a fair shake. And then it took them... 20 over 24 hours to cut my water back on so of course that made me upset but um i'm gonna leave it here i stand with you okay <laughs> and that's it that's all thank you thank you good evening residents um i'm lieutenant williams with the dalton fire department i just wanted to come here and say I'm alumni from District 149. I've been through three administrations. Mayor Henyard and this board has been very proactive with IDs as the fire service. We have been getting guys, fire engines, concrete redone. I just want to say thank you. Continue to do that. And the board members who are left, thank you for this time and this honor. I look forward to coming to work again, and it feels good. How y'all doing? My name is Coach Ryan, and I'm an uh, active Dalton resident, and I've been uh, here in Dalton for years and have grown up to be a man, and just to see everything that's been going on in the city evolve, and I can honestly say um, I commend you for looking out for our kids. They are our future. Um, just from remodeling the city hall to remodeling the community center. They have an event space, they have several programs. And she spoke a little bit about the splash parks and stuff like that. You know, all these other cities get that type of stuff, but we don't have a swim center or somewhere where our, our little kids play. My daughter's four years old. And I want her to have the same things that I had, you know what I mean? So um, honestly, even she could have even tore the, the courts down and they're historic. You know, there's so many sentimental value in there so many professional athletes that came from Dalton uh, that played in our fields and played in our courts, you know, so um, to read them and update that, you know, I'm just, as a coach, I'm proud to say that, you know, we get to keep these uh, life skilled lessons and, and resources to our kids. And um, I would like to see more from you if you, you know, yeah. just give her a chance and just, you know, she has the eye of the kids and the youth. You know, we got to keep that going because they are our future. Yes. Good evening. Um, my name is Shanae Riley. I'm a new resident here in Dalton. Um, I just moved in last year in December, but my biggest concern is I'm on 147th in LaSalle. And when I tell you they think that's the Bishop Ford times 10, mm -hmm. it is crazy. I was outside riding a bike, and somebody almost swiped me. Mm -hmm. And so it's sad because there's kids on the block. The kids can't play. I wouldn't even let, if I was a parent, I wouldn't have my child going across the street because the cars are just flying through there like it's just nothing. And then we're getting 18 wheelers coming down a residential block. I mean, the block is a two-way. I called, I asked about speed humps. They told me that the village didn't have the funds for it, so there wouldn't be any speed humps put on my block. But then I looked on the next block and the block over, and they have speed humps. And then Roosevelt School is right there. And you got kids constantly during the school year, and these people are literally just flying down 146th Street. So I just feel like something definitely needs to be done because we don't want to wait until somebody's child gets hurt. You know, that's my thing. We don't want somebody's child to get hurt. And then all of a sudden we decide, okay, this is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm just asking that you guys do something about that. Cause I keep calling. I keep, I say it's me. I've been calling and calling and calling, mm -hmm. trying to find out what can we do to make our kids safe and myself too. Okay. Well, I, I did put it in the budget for more speed bumps. 
Yeah. So I did put it in the budget because both Roosevelt and Burger Vandenberg will have speed bumps okay. um, come August. And then they also should put up more signs to tell the people what the speed limit is, too. That's another problem. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you take my car, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. Hi, my name is Martillis. Um, Speaking to the mic. Hi, my name is Martillis. You hear me now? I stay on um, 148th and uh, Everest. I've been asked, and I just received my transplant um, last year. I've been asking for a tree to be removed off my property. It's not on my property, it's off my property. And my mother-in-law, she just had a stroke, um, a semi-stroke. And we, um, we get pace. And trees, the tree is real big, and the tree branches be removed. Um, they fall. And I've been calling and calling and calling. I apologize. I'm very respect, respectful, and I did blurt it out. I apologize. I get upset. I take depressive pills. Um, I take anti-dejection pills. And I've been calling and calling down here to ask this big tree to be removed because one day, you know, the wind and everything and the tree almost hit my mother-in-law. And I got very upset because she could have got hurt. And I apologize, and I like you. I really do. I go to the parade, and I like to party. You know, you're my type of... Yeah. <laughs> I like you, too. Thank you. And I like seeing the fireworks. Yes. And I bring my grandbabies all the way from the west side. Which is the best side. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. come on now. Get that tree off my yeah, so see Stacy. <laughs> see Stacy. If it's right? on your property, you won't help me. Yeah. So it's not on my property. So give Stacy your name and phone number and I'll address, be, uh, and he'll go by tomorrow. Because I called yep. you. Where the whoever the number it was. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Mayor, when you came by my house the day before of the election recall, mm -hmm. I told you what we wanted. We wanted transparency. Mm -hmm. And I feel that every resident that's in here that own property, if you can just look at parties to make a decision if a person is great, you're very mistaken. I have have been under shawl all the way up to here. Every time we would have a meeting, we would know about the money, what was going out. Every time you guys come to me, you don't know nothing about what's going out, out or what's being paid. That cannot happen. We're going to be bankrupt. So that's the biggest problem that I had with you, Mayor, because there's no transparency. We want to know, when you came to my house, I told you, where is the money? The residents want to know, where is the money? We need to know that. In Back then, back then, you were a trustee. You would not dare vote for anything without any reports. So why would you make the trustees vote in? They don't know what you have spent. Like they say, every time something come up, in and already went past. We didn't have the 4th of July, which this should have been brought to the board and to us. Just like when you decided to, to do the program for felons. We're not saying that we don't want to help them, but it wasn't brought to the residents. This was forced on us. And I don't think that was right. It was forced. We need transparency. We need the reports. We need to know where our money is going and what you're spending. And that's basically what I'm saying. I'm just so emotional because I don't feel comfortable in Dalton anymore. I'm not proud of Dalton anymore. I, I, I come to all the meetings. When I first bought my house, 
I was here. And we don't get none of the information that we used to get back then. We knew everything from every penny that was spent. And basically, that's all I have to say. And I just say the people have spoken. The people have spoke, spoken. We, we need new leadership because we got to have transparency. And for Mr. Holmes, for you to sit up on this trustee board and never question about the reports, I'm really looking at you sideways because you should want to know where the, that's part of your job, to know where the money is at. But you're just going along. If the trustee said yes to, to everything today, you would say yes. You don't even care if you see a report. And I think that's wrong. And to me, I don't feel that you have done a lot for Dalton. You're more so in Chicago, period. And that's just how I feel. Show us the money. We need to know. Wait, wait, we need transparency. We need to wait, know. Wait, wait, I'm going to let you go next. Okay, so let me address a couple of things that you just stated really, really quick. And I normally don't address, but I just want to put it out there so the residents understand. As it relates to the second chance uh, program that you said that I did, I didn't spend a dime of money. Nothing. But you so, didn't talk to the residents, wait, residents wait, wait, to see if that's what we want. I, I, actually, I believe in helping people with a second chance, but there's other ways that we could have did it where you could have got a, a contract with Amazon or a construction company. But when you put, you can't find no residents in Dalton that don't have a record to get a job. You want me to, we have you want me to respond to it? In the village than, than anything. Okay. So let me respond you know, to it so you understand. Um, we hired. But you didn't ask us. I think you have a right to ask us about if okay. we want this. Okay. I'm trying to respond to tell you. You could have had a town hall meeting or something and say, well, hey, I'm thinking about this. This is my opinion. And if you want to say something, you could come up and say something. Okay, let me respond so I you can know, clear up what you're stating. Right. So I can give you the real truth. Well, I my truth. Like to have been at that meeting. Okay, so and then we. I would have voiced how I felt. Okay. Can I respond now? All right. So we did ask the community. We did ask people. And guess what? The was people. It an open meeting? It was. We went door to door. I had a meeting here. Now I'm talking about a meeting like this where the residents is going to show okay. up. Okay. Well, I'm responding. You didn't come to my door. Okay. You did okay. not come to my door. Okay. You won't let me respond. All right. Well, I did do that just so community know and understand. Well, I did ask you your what opinion. About the I'm going to like get to that. Okay, thank you. Let's move on to the next speaker, please. Let's move on to the next speaker, please. Okay, next speaker. Thank you. <laughs> order, please. We have order in this room. Okay, Ms. Hill. All right, ready? Yeah, yes. right. right. Ma'am, please. Okay, Ms. Hill. Okay, okay yeah. Chief. Um, Cheryl, one minute. He want to put yeah, this you know, like, one, one, one minute. Um, you know, let me address something. And when it relates to crime and safety. You don't, you don't have a floor number. When it, when it relates to crime and safety, you know, I don't know, you know, they, they, you know, wherever people need help at, I don't care if it's in Detroit, I don't care. If they call me, I'm going. If I can solve that crime, I'm going to solve it. I'm going to do what I got to do to help people everywhere. So they can get up off of that saying that I'm in Chicago because wherever crime is at, that's where I'm going to be and I'm going to find a person and help solve that crime and as far as uh, you know they're saying watching the money watching the tax i'm watching what's going on here and you best believe me when i see it's going wrong i'm gonna move away from it thank you okay one more thing michelle i'm trying to get it i just want to get it out real quick for the record okay as that relates to transparency when I say every trustee up here get a warrant list, and they also get um, my viewpoint. So if it's not printed on paper, it's on my viewpoint. And then normally when they come to a board meeting, we print the whole entire package out for them. So when people get the saying about transparency, we do have that. And as it relates to want to know more information, they have committee meetings. 
Their job as trustees is to have committee meetings and invite the public out. My job as mayor is to govern. I was going to have the attorney explain to you everybody's job duties. So when everybody go around saying all these things that's untrue, because none of it's true, because I would be locked up if it was true on any of the things that they're saying that I'm doing. But people sometimes believe the hype or drink the Kool-Aid. So I'm just here to tell you that I do my job and I do it well. And people get mad because they're not used to someone young and aggressive and want really change for adulting. You guys, when I knocked on your doors, you told me that's what you wanted. And when I came in, I hit the ground running. I came in and I made sure I tried to clean up the best way I can in my first year. One year. Just imagine what I'm going to do in three years. Imagine what I'm going to do in six years. Come on now. This what they're afraid of. So when it comes to parties and comes to you, that, that is my heart, especially the baby. Y'all know I have a three-year-old. I keep saying that. The same things that I want for her, I want for the community, for people and their kids. Because when I grew up in Dalton, Dalton was majority white. When we came to Dalton, my friends were Susan and Heather that lived on both sides. We had green carpet and wallpaper in my house. I'm booted and rooted here. I keep telling people what it is and why I go so hard for this community because I literally watch it go from majority white to majority black. And when it went that way, I saw the shift and the change in the resources of why we came to Dalton. My parents to this day still live here. My brother, my sister, my entire family lives in this community. So I wouldn't dare let anybody take something from me that I earned. I earned where I'm sitting now. And I plan to stay here, guys. So get ready for the ride. Go ahead, sir. When is in the name of the Father? Uh, to the Chief. Man, I seen some of your police pull off a peaceful entry. I don't know, Sunday, that made my day, so I don't know what to tell you. That young lady right there, I don't know who she is, but y'all absolute city people. I seen them over on Indiana pulling some people over on Indiana and they formation. If y'all can see behind this mask, I'm laughing like, a, I don't know what to tell you. Because I'm, I'm, I'm taking it anywhere I get it. If it start here, it's making me smile and jump here. And to the fire chief, yep, they was good. That fire was right behind my house. They time was good. And I was happy because personally, I thought it was somebody burning wood. That's what I get from not looking out my window to see that fire was going on out there. <laughs> Anybody's been here? And that sweet lady, did she leave that was here for the first time at the meeting? Well, I love her. And, and see, we, 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 we cannot be letting them leave with that kind of narrative in their head. Because this next generation is coming, whether anybody all the way up at Congress don't want, man, they coming. And they gonna snatch the ceiling down. And they gonna take it, that's that's all to it. Now I wanna swing around these basketball courts. Now y'all know I love y'all for what y'all trying to do. But now some of my basketball players, man, they put up new rims and a new backboard. Now I'ma try not to ask y'all to reimburse them, but I know y'all got a little time to do things. Man, like they say, y'all gotta kinda get to the parks. And I want to speak to you all about one of your trustees. I didn't think I was going to do this, but the spirit just told me I'm going to go ahead. Because, see, sometimes transparency from the people I hear, sometimes is best. Your trustee Brown, she tried to attack me. Now, I've been doing what I've been doing since I was 19 years old. I've been a human rights activist. I've never had an elected official make me feel like I had to put them in order. And I do mean with the letter of the law. I don't mean talking back to her, and I don't mean arguing with her. I did it appropriate. I took it to every place it was supposed to be. I took it in front of the mayor so that she could violate them. Right here, and that's what we gotta start doing. There are rules that they have to accommodate. And when they don't accommodate them, I will teach you all about every last one of them to violate them because then we're not on their plan. We can't keep doing this. We have a lot to do here in Dalton. I'd also like to speak to Stacy. You know I love you. You know I saw you over there taking care of that house. But y'all know I want my sound, right? Yeah, see what I'm saying? They're tearing down the house. But the house has history. It meant a lot to me to have that sign because some of the gentlemen at the fire department are going to let us set up just a little something to remember that person. So see, that's just it. Sometimes we remember it even when we're gone. But the bottom line is we, 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 we got to pull together now. And I don't even want to go to that. I can't do that black on black thing. It breaks my spirit. It hurt my heart and where I come from. I just can't. When I first came here, it was predominantly white. But see, I'm going to say this quick secret right there. Your skin color don't win nothing with me. Let me see what your beings and your content and your character do. Change it. You got to take that skin color up with the Lord, and he ain't changing nothing right now. 
Okay. Good evening. It's in my way. A lot of people have said what I've already wanted to say. Um, but I will say to Bone Police, so much respect. Police, fire, Stacy, you're the bomb. <laughs> you really are. Um, I appreciate everybody here and everything that you do. Holmes, your reputation precedes you. Don't listen to the naysayers. You're doing God's awesome. work. <laughs> Tiffany, you are the beast. Yeah. And you keep doing what you're doing. What, in, what makes me angry is I look at this. Where are my trustees? Where are they? I heard they were somebody was out there, one of the trustees was out there having words with somebody. But they should be in here with us. That bothers me. Because I've been a Dalton resident since before you were even a trustee. <laughs> and she's always, she's been about the children before she even had her three-year-old. You know, the people here in Dalton, we work hard. The people that are in Dalton that work for Dalton, they work hard. And what, what bothers me is I feel like these trustees ran on your coattail because they knew you were going to win. They all jumped on board. And within two months, two months of her being there, they turned on her. They turned on her. You had trustee. Now, the last time that I was here, I was trying to be nice, and I'm still going to be nice because that's my demeanor unless she pissed me off. This one right here, Belcher, she was, when the mayor was out there giving backpacks out to children in August, last August, she was over there taking pictures of my house, the police, her house, and I walked over to her and wanted to know what was going on. Oh, I'm your trustee. And I'm like, Okay, so who are you? I voted for her because she was on Tiffany's slate. That woman sat there and degraded Tiffany like you wouldn't believe. I can give you word for word. And I said, so she, she won't communicate with us. So what did you all do? Because we just hit in the third month. And all of a sudden, she's doing something wrong? What is the problem? So I feel like it was a setup, Tiffany. If this is all a setup. They came here, they rolled your coattail because they know you were going to win. Because if I'm not mistaken, didn't she run from there before? And she got, what, 10 votes? Yeah. I'm just asking. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, she, she ran from there. She got 94 votes. votes. Right, I, right. Yeah. But, you know, so they rolled in your coattail yeah. to get here. Yeah. And now that they're here, they turned on you within two months. That's what I see. But what I see here at this table are the people still working. Yeah. Police is still there. Fire is still there. Stacy, you still there. Andrew, love you the best. Yeah. Love you guys. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, you guys. My name is Robin. Some of y'all know me. Some of y'all don't. I am friends with Tiffany, been friends with Tiffany for a very, very long time. I've been telling Tiffany for a long time to stop trusting. <laughs> Tiffany has been a trustee for a long time. I've been telling her there's some people you just can't trust. But she trusts everybody, as you can see. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here to say that I stand with Tiffany. Um, I just feel like ain't nobody really giving her a chance. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm from the era of Riverdale and Dalton. I moved from Riverdale to Dalton, from Dalton to Riverdale, just back and forth. I um, recently just moved back into Dalton three months ago. Um, what I see Tiffany doing is trying to work together with everyone. This building that y'all in, I don't know if y'all know, but it was closed for years. This, right, this building right here, that y'all sitting in, while y'all saying she not doing completely nothing, she is. But she, she can't do it by herself. She's just one person. You know what I'm saying? So if I feel like if everybody will just sit down and listen, have y'all ever heard the old saying, it's a lot of chiefs and not enough Indians? Mm -hmm. It feel like it's a lot of chiefs and not enough Indians because when I watched the videos, it was a bunch of hate to me mm -hmm. because I, they just kept throwing around her age. What do her age have to do with her want to make a difference? And not a devil messing with my mic. 
But I'm loud, so y'all can still hear me. Yeah. What I'm saying is togetherness is, is everything. Loyalty, respect, love. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, 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 it's a golden rule doing to others as you would want them to do unto you. God said, don't touch my anointed. I do my prophets no harm. Do you understand? Amen. This right here, that was devilish because regardless mm -hmm. of what they felt yeah. or how they felt, this is their mayor. Yeah. It should have been some type of respect. Yeah. Yeah. They walked out on her and hopefully she's paying attention to that while people talking about the second choice program. Mm -hmm. Second choice could be for anyone. Second choice could be for me. Second choice could be for you. You could be a, a drug addict that changed your life. What, what is it to say that don't nobody need a second chance? Right. Everybody needs a second chance. I don't understand where I'm coming from. And I had to turn the videos off because, baby, <laughs> it, was, it was ridiculous. I don't understand. And I've never seen this before because it was a time where my kind, no offense to you, are the pink people, but the black people wasn't even allowed in Dalton. We couldn't even walk through here. We couldn't come over here. We couldn't drink water. We couldn't go to the little theater that was across the street used to be or none of that. So this is a privilege. So why not take advantage of it? And that's all I got to say. And Tiffany, I'm here. I'm with you. For whatever you need me to do, I'm with you. And you stay beastie, baby. For real. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Johnny Jones. I've been a resident in Dalton for just about 30 years. And our mayor, I've known her since she was 17. She used to babysit my babies. And so I've, I've been through those four mayors too. And Tiffany, what you're doing, I like what I see you doing because I see some changes in Dalton that should have took place a long time ago, but with nothing happening. So I stand with you too. And I agree. Your trustees, them that walk out on you, they don't have no respect for you. They want your job. Yeah. But we voted. Yeah. The residents voted and put you in here. You continue to do your job as you've been doing. Because I got your back. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Lisa and... I bought a house on 142nd in Maryland in 2012. I have, first let me say, I love you. <laughs> and I only got in, this is my first meeting, I only got into all this because you was a beast. Oh, thank so you. I started watching the YouTube and all of that. So I've been here since 2012. <clears throat> Nothing's been done in Dalton until you came here. The only problem I have since 2013 is that our alley, you can't even get down there. And when the police go down the alley, they have the nerves to put, give me a ticket because they have to step over the rocks and the potholes and there's a bush on the outside of the gate, like a small bush. So I got a ticket. I have been fussing since 2012 for this alley to get done. Nothing's being done. I've been fussing about the tree that's in front on you guys' side of the property, that's in front of my house. Nothing's been done. I called today because a big branch in the tree, when it's windy or raining, they fall off because the tree's dead. I had somebody come look at the tree. They said it's dead. Big branches is falling off the tree. I called the village today. I have pictures. The guy that I talked to, when you call the village, sometimes whoever you get make you feel like you crazy. Just let me take the information and then they go on about their business. I don't like that. I called today and I told him the branch fell, blah, blah, blah. He said, well, we got your file right here. Didn't even give my address yet. And we have all the pictures. I said, I didn't see you no pictures. So what file are you looking at? Hold on. They put me on hold. Didn't come back. All I'm asking for is all this tax money I'm paying. Fix my alley and get this tree from in front of my house. Because somebody's going to get hurt. I mean, we have big branches falling on our concrete and on the cars, every time it went, the wind is going or the rain is coming. 
But needless to say, I like what you're doing. We just need some help on Maryland with that app. Okay. Can you give the information to Stacy right here? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yes, Stacey. right here, right here, in the blue. <laughs> Thank. You. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, uh, trustee. Excuse me, excuse me, mom, before you say something, uh, Stacy. Uh, young, when you call, ask for their name, who you're talking to. If they don't want to give their name and their information, then ask for Stacy. I don't care what office you're calling for. Ask for a supervisor until you get their information and their name, because if they're wrong, they're wrong. You, uh, the village belongs to you. That's my trick. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Hello, everyone. I just want to let you all know that is my lovely daughter, Tiffany, up there. We've been living here for 29 years, and I haven't seen anything done like she has done in her one year of service. So I appreciate it. The trustees would just get along, get it together. And I really want to thank Mr. Holmes for staying by my daughter. He always there for her and had her back. Yep. Thank you. I'm Miss Davis. Pull I've been out here for... I've been out here for 30 plus years. I was here before Tiffany and them moved out here. I don't think Tiffany, Tiffany started when she was a, a young one, when she was 12, 13 in blocks, community blocks. Tiffany ran for trustee. Tiffany is doing good. I hate to see <laughs> The community like this. I talk to Tiffany all the time, but I want Tiffany to know. I talk to her, but I want her to know I'm with her publicly also. Okay? I'm not like a speaker, speaker, but I want her to know. I pray for our village. I pray for our police officer, our chief. I spoke with Keith. I talked to Holmes a couple of times also, too. But I'm with you, and I want you to know that. I hate to see what I see up here, because it's just terrible. It really is. I wish everybody can get along. I know things are changing. Young people are coming in and doing things. And I think some people can't get used to that at all. But I want you to know I'm here for you. Anything I can do, me, my family, my son, we're here for you. And I love you. And I want you to know that. Thank you. Love you too. Hi, I'm Diane. I've been here for 30 years. I have a few issues. One is a tree that's on the village side. It's kicked up the sidewalk. I've had to put new sewers in for this tree, okay? I would appreciate it if they would move this tree out the way. My second thing is I did not buy commercial property. I bought a home. I've got people outside fixing their cars. I've been talking about tow trucks out there leaking oil it has rolled down into my driveway whereas now and i've got pictures of all the oils from the street that is rolling into my driveway uh someone did come out the tow, tow truck went away for a couple of days, it just moved to the corner and it was dropping the uh, uh, oil down there. Now it's back. When it rains, that oil comes back up and it's there again. I heard the housing talking about the, the halfway houses and the second chances. I have been calling them about this issue. Uh, when I called them, they were talking in their meeting and they were saying that, oh, this house is close to my home. Uh, 
I think there should be ordinance. These people that are running it, they should uh, have licenses and stuff. They were talking about their homes. I'm watching them on television. They didn't talk about anything else. I would like to see some type of ordinance where the people didn't fix their cars out there on the street. These people fix their cars. They, they put the car parts all on the sidewalk. They parked the cars across the sidewalk where you would actually have to walk out to the street. I called the police department. I had a, a, a female tell me if I wasn't out there walking on the sidewalk, don't worry about it. Okay. So I think there should be some. I don't know how you put these ordinances in, but I want my house to look just like yours. Okay, I'll be 70 years old on my birthday. Okay, I want my driveway to be clean. I'm out there trying to keep stuff together. I want it to look like your house for the home top, like everybody else. And I should not have to go through that. So if you could see Stacy right here for the tree and Chief Collins for the other issue. Just what's your address? Just need your address or the location where the problem is. Yeah, Stacy, right here. Stacy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um to the mayor. God bless you. Thank you. Um when I was sitting there, I was listening to everybody. Uh, in the meeting and their complaints and whatnot, and it's good to complain so that we can find out what's going on and how people feel about different things. But what I like about Ms. Henyard, out of the three uh, mayors that I've been through since I've been here since 1995, what I like about her is vision. She has a vision. Without a vision, the people perish. Vision is what builds a city. And the people that's in the city has got to tap into the vision in order for it to work. Now, my husband and I, since she has been in office, we haven't had no problem. We got a new street. For years, we've been begging somebody to come and put a street in. Every time we turn around, we had a hole in the street. And when she walked through one day, we told her about the street, we told her about the hole and whatnot, and they put a whole new street in. We call, I make a list. My grandson called me the grass police. I make a list of the grass need cutting, and I drive, we have to help. As uh, people that live in Dalton, don't stop calling. Call. That's helping. Don't get an attitude, but call and say, look, the house down there needs cutting. The grass needs cutting. We don't have to get an attitude. We don't have to get mad. You know, it's enough of that going on. All we have to do is say, that's all I say. I even say a few jokes. And when I look around, guess what? They down there cutting the grass. Because it's your attitude that makes a difference. If you show love, then you'll get love back. Excuse me. If you show anger, you'll get anger back. So I just wanted to say that. Be a part of the vision. Yes. Tap into her vision. Yes. Hear what she's saying. 
Find your place in the vision to help. That's all I wanted to say. Hello, Mayor Henry. My, uh, my name is Sonia Valentine. I am a new resident of Dalton. I've been here for two months. Uh, I purposefully did not want to come to the suburbs because the first thing I saw when on the listings were the taxes. And, and the taxes are like triple, maybe five times more than Chicago. But I, but I found a nice deal. I said, let me give it a chance. I'm, I bought a home on, on 142nd. And what I've noticed throughout this time is that my house rattles because of people driving down that street playing music so loud, so loud that it makes my windows rattle. I was hoping that maybe we could come up with some type of noise ordinance, just yeah. like with some of the other. I, you say we have. I haven't seen any signs and I definitely haven't seen any enforcement. So maybe enforcing it will, will, will cause some changes. Okay. And it's always late night, two, three in the morning, people driving down 142nd, blasting, thumping, bass, bass making music. And it, it, that's just been one big turnoff about Dalton. The other thing is that I'm surrounded by three vacant buildings. I have one behind me, one on the side, one on both sides. The trees are growing on those houses, closest to me that are infringing upon my property and it makes it look like my property is full of weeds and one of the trees is damaging my roof you know and um so a large part of me wants to go in and trespass and cut them trees down because i've called about them but as we have heard that's a problem throughout all of dog mm -hmm. one other thing i'd like to say is you know this is my first meeting and it just seems so contentious and a large part of that with your trustees and with your leadership, something's not happening between the both of you. There are two sides of this. I look at your trustees leave and then I look at you. I'm wondering why are your trustees walking out on you? Throughout this meeting, I've heard you speak at them in a contentious way. I mean, I, I understand your frustration. I understand that leadership carries a heavy crown I understand that there are certain things that need to be done and you're trying to get them done. But I also understand the value of protocol. And it just seems like some of that is missing. I, I'm gonna to continue to do my research on you and each one of the trustees because being informed is a large part of it. But one thing that I, one thing that I really want to say is that you mentioned that you haven't committed any crimes. If you had committed any crimes, you'd be arrested. Mm -hmm. Sometimes what's legal may not be ethical. And some things that are ethical may not be legal. So we have to take a look at that. And we have to see that, yes, we want you to do these things. But we also like the protocol also. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. See? All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for staying this evening. I totally, totally appreciate everybody's opinion, um, suggestion, or concerns. Uh, if you need help, please see my department heads sitting here. If you need a tree trim, cut down, grass cut, or anything dealing with the police, please. Okay, we got one more. One more. Really, Tina? Good evening, Mayor, Good evening. Clerk, Good Trustee, uh, Citizen. I just wanted to ask the question before we go out. I noticed that the trustees are not here. I know we can't do any action because they're not here. But will this meeting still be carrying on? Because you can't end it if they didn't adjourn. I'm just asking. Yeah, I got legal counsel. Right. Can legal counsel please share with the public what's going on? Well, so we, we, can, uh, we was getting to that. Okay, no. I, can... I wanted to get up and ask because I asked earlier. So I wanted to make sure that the citizens. Yeah, he going to no. explain okay. all that as we adjourn. All right, thanks. Just give him a statement before we adjourn. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, again, I'm just reiterate if y'all got any issues or problems, please address anybody that's up here as it relates to the department head so we can take care of your concern. And then we also have uh, public works in the back as well. What, what, what you got?
Okay, yep, yeah, love you too. But just so you know, we will always have accountability and transparency. We let everybody know where money goes. You can for you anything in the village of Dalton if you're concerned about any dollar amount. And as I stated before, we do have a budget. As long as you spend the money within the budget item that was voted on, then it already approved, then that's how we uh, move forward with the day to day operation. All right, so now the attorney will address the public as relates to adjournment. During item 13 on the agenda, mayor's report, four trustees voluntarily, voluntarily left the meeting, um, and therefore we lacked a quorum. The mayor continued uh, her report and permitted citizen comments. No action uh, was permitted to be taken, and no votes were requested by the mayor. No action was taken by those remaining. Um, based on a lack of quorum, we cannot proceed to number 15 executive session, and there's no not, no need for a motion to adjourn uh, the meeting. Uh, no motions or votes can be taken now. So the meeting is officially over. Yes, correct. Good night, everybody. Oh, I got it.